Hi, Devin Scott Livingston here from our home in Bolton, Connecticut, on behalf of the Trails Collective, to discuss why our state, Connecticut, is the best trail state in the nation. Now, there's lots of arguments about which coast has the best trails, East Coast, West Coast, but it's subjective. Even still, we're biased and we want to make the argument that our state has the best trails. We're going to cover a few high points from different categories, including quantity, quality, parks, nonprofit advocacy, events and races, community and clubs, media, and the details will be covered in, in an article that we published for the Trails Collective with lots of, lots of links and resources. Well, for once, for, for quality and quantity, we have over 3,000 miles of trails in Connecticut. Um, many of them, over 800 of them, are Blue Blaze trails. And those Blue Blazes are maintained by volunteers, and they are extremely well marked. The type of trails we have is a lot of rocks, roots, uh, a little, lots of ups and downs, uh, lots of history along those trails. But we also have some dirt paths that are for the fast people that want to run flat. So there's lots of options there. History is a big part of our argument and it's a big reason why the trail system in Connecticut is so well established. The Connecticut Forest and Park Association is one of the country's oldest nonprofit conservation organizations founded in 1895, along with the Appalachian Mountain Club and other organizations. They do an incredible job at advocating for trails in Connecticut. The the, in addition to the nonprofit organizations, we have a tremendous state park system with more than 110 parks, 32 state forests, and 90 wildlife management areas. That's a lot of parks that include trails in the 169 towns and communities in Connecticut. We also have a lot of trail running a series, uh, races that are in series, and that's been a, a lot of fun. Was, we've, we've had some of the oldest trail races, continually run trail races in the country. Uh, one of them is over 36 years old. We also, if you go to the FKT site, the Fast Known Time site, you will see that at least six individuals in the top 20, 20. Um, are from Connecticut. During the pandemic, uh, the proximity of Connecticut's population to the trails is really what's driven uh, increased usage across the board. You could argue that Connecticut, with two national scenic trails, the New England Trail and, of course, the iconic Appalachian Trail, uh, is one of only a handful of states that have uh, two of those major trail systems going through our state. The uh, proximity of the population is what allows people to get to trails in Connecticut. Uh, we talked about the clubs, you know, the Schnipsit Striders, the yes. Bimblers, uh, the, the West, West Rock Ramblers, Connecticut Trail Mixers. We have a lot of clubs that are really at the forefront now of getting people out in the woods on the trails and just putting on some amazing events. I think that community might very well be the most important factor in making our state the best trail state in the nation. Uh, we have great media coverage of our trails as well. The Culture Trail Running podcast is dedicated to New England trail running mm -hmm. and in, with a focus on Connecticut. Uh, we've got great websites devoted to trails. Even the Connecticut Walkbook, which is the historical Bible of Connecticut trails, is uh, our dog-eared copy is well used. <laughs> so look for my article that includes links to many of the topics that we just discussed and so many more. So I wanted to thank the Trails Collective for allowing us to make the argument that Connecticut is the best trail state in the nation. And uh, we challenge you, Colorado, California, whoever else wants to come up with uh, their examples of why their state is the best, um, we bring it on. Thank you. Take care.